Hey guys, it's Kip from Famous by Friday Pickleball. Got a brand new paddle to review, the new Gearbox GBX. Every once in a while a paddle comes out that I didn't really expect to come out. Gearbox has just cornered the market on the SST technology, the, the carbon ribbed, the thin paddles that we've all known, we've all seen, we've all played with, really good paddles, and they've just perfected that. And along comes a Gearbox paddle that has a polypropylene core, it's 16 millimeters thick. It's just kind of totally un unexpected from Gearbox, but yet I, Gearbox has added their own little technology to this paddle. So it has the T700 Tori carbon fiber face that we all have come accustomed to from other paddles. However, this is an eight ply design. It has the T700 carbon fiber face that is textured, but it has seven layers underneath it of carbon fiber plies to, that Gearbox will say gives us a large sweet spot, spin, power, and smooth feel. That's a lot, but Gearbox in the past has really thought out their products and really put a lot of research in there, and I'm very excited to get out and hit this paddle. It's pretty much standard dimension, 16.5, by 7.38, it's 8.5 ounces, which is a little heavy, um, and it feels a little head heavy. I'm gonna measure that to make sure, but it does feel a little head heavy. But it has a nice, just solid feel to it, just swinging it right out of the box. So headed to the courts right now. Large sweet spot, spin, power, and a smooth feel. The new Gearbox GBX polypropylene core. Very anxious to get out and hit this. Head to the course right now. I hope you are too. You can help hit this. I have a feeling a lot of people are wanting to try this, so it'll be very exciting. I will be back.
Hey guys, back. Just spent the last few weeks getting to know the new Gearbox GBX paddle. This paddle's a lot of fun to hit. It's got a lot of the similarities that we've come to know and love. It's a polypropylene core, 16 millimeter thick, 8.5 ounces, a little head heavy, Torre T700 carbon fiber face, textured surface for spin. A lot of other companies have that. Think of Yola or Carbon or Groovin. A lot of those paddles have the same, the same technology behind them. Where Gearbox has gone a little bit different and put their own stamp on this paddle is with the eight ply design. The face is the Torre T700 carbon fiber face, but they've got seven carbon fiber plies underneath that. On their website, it says it gives spin, power, and smooth feel, and it does all those things really well. The dwell time on this paddle, the ball just stays there, and then it's got a little bit of a throat flex that the ball just shoots off of there with spin where you want it to go. Gearbox has done a great, great service to this paddle and just their technology behind it. It's accurate, it's consistent, it's got nice spin, it's got nice power, it has all those things along with a really nice large sweet spot. This paddle does a lot of things well, but I think the one thing it really did well that I know I noticed right off that most of most of the rest of us did too is just these angled top spin drop drives that you could just take right out wide, go right over the top of the net, nice top spin, great angles, and it would just do that over and over again. And I think that's just because the ball dwells on there so long and you've got such control and it really does a nice job. The only negative part of this paddle is adjusting to the heaviness at 8.5 ounces and it's really head heavy. Now, that's kind of where paddles are going to a little bit heavier right now, especially this, this design with the, with the thicker paddle, the 16 millimeter and the carbon fiber face, they're going a little bit heavier. So it fits right in, but right off that takes a moment to adjust if you're not used to that weight. If you're used to playing, you know, seven, eight, seven, nine, eight, it does have a different feel just because it is so he head heavy and you can feel that right when you get it out of the box. Other than that, there's no negative to this paddle. Gearbox has done a great job. I'm really anxious to hear if any of you have hit this paddle, if you like it, what you like about it, I would love to hear, I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you're looking for a new paddle, I, I would try this. If you're looking for that kind of style of paddle with the you know, 16 millimeters, once again, go back through the list. If you're looking for that kind of paddle, there's a lot of different companies on the market and they're all really great companies with a nice following. I would take a look at this as well. This is really a nice paddle, a lot of fun to hit. Just, <laughs> I just had a great time with this paddle. I, I always in these, you know, would it go in my bag? And this paddle definitely could. It's really, really a nice paddle. It does everything really well. Very good defensive paddle as well, which, which I like. So guys, thanks for stopping by. Please hit like, please hit subscribe. Got more content coming very soon. Get out and try this bad boy. Gearbox GBX. Good job, Gearbox. This is not really the design you're known for, but good job. All right, guys. This thing, all you have to do is stick it in front of a ball and the ball goes back. Yeah.